Hi everyone, this video is about staying positive. This is my favorite subject. I know LCHF is my favorite subject, but within the LCHF regime, my favorite subject is staying positive. <clears throat> I'm going to try and explain to you what is positivity in the first place. I struggled for years and years and years. If somebody tells me to stay positive, it's like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Really? How can you stay positive if you don't even feel positive? It's not a switch you can flick and, okay, now I'm positive. It doesn't work like that. So I love that I found this. I love that I actually found the meaning, the actual meaning behind positive. Because people assume that you already know certain things and we just don't know. If you've been struggling for so long, I was depressed. I had, uh, I had, I have, this. <laughs> I am dyslexic, and um, my learning was terrible. I had body functions that starts going wrong when I get nervous, and all these anxieties and all these things keep happening. So nobody taught me what positivity is, and I don't exactly read because it's very difficult to read. So eventually I found what positivity is. So I'm going to pass that on to you. Feel free to pass it on to your kids or anybody that you know. Please, because don't assume we all know what it is to be positive. So I have learned that to be positive, you need to start with a grateful heart. Start with a grateful heart. In other words, in the morning, find those five things that you are truly grateful for. Mine is usually my husband, my son, our roof over the head, the car to drive and food to eat. And I am worked up, ready to go. But what do you do with that? You feel really, really grateful. You know that these things are precious to you. You have them. You are secure. You are safe. You, whatever the case may be, but you feel it. And what happens if you think about those things? You start to smile. Those things give you a sense of belonging, a sense of you are safe and that's okay, you know? So it's not just, ta-da, being positive and now you're going to take on the world and you can do this diet. It's not that. It's about being happy with you. It's about accepting yourself, accept your, your, your situation. And then, of course, once you can see that you are truly blessed and you have got some of these things, you've got so much to be grateful for, you actually start seeing everything around you as well. You start seeing all the beautiful things around you. And this is how you stay positive. Because if we keep saying, seeing how bad things are in this country and this one took my parking spot and that one is pointing fingers at me, then you can't see the beauty anymore. So if you remind yourself on a daily basis to be grateful for where you are, to be grateful for what you do have, suddenly all the other beautiful things around you starts coming out and you can see it again. The dark cloud starts lifting. You have got a more positive outlook on life. So that is actually how it works. That's how you turn that frown upside down. <laughs> and you can actually be happy and enjoy life a little bit. Even if you're still sick, even if you're still overweight, you can see life in a different point of view. And that has become my mission as well, to help so many people just understand what it is when people tell you to stay positive and understand that, yes, it is a good concept. But if you don't know what it is, it's very difficult pill to swallow. So there you go. Find those things that you're actually grateful for. That means the world to you that you know you've got and it's yours and that nobody can take it away from you. Feel that sense of belonging and feel safe. And stay with your diet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.